The Fitzy and Ripper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. Hey, congratulations, everybody. I'm excited for your Easter. Uh, if you're listening right now, you've probably um, got maybe a little holiday, short stay booked. Easter, more like a feast, eh? Yeah, you're not wrong, <laughs> mate. I'll eat everything. Guy Grossi, that was a great ad. Remember oh, that? Oh, no. This what is an Easter. Do? This is a feast. Oh. Was he stunt double there for a okay. while? Kate, yeah, there is something similar. He's a isn't bit there? guy grossy, isn't he? Yeah. Can we go back to a couple of months ago, Kate Ritchie? We sat in the studio and we were talking about what the Easter plans were, and you said, I've got a great idea. The burrowing markets are one of the best things you can do. Absolutely. And I went, At Easter. You little beauty. I'll get online. I love the Southern Highlands. Oh, it's a bloody beautiful part of the world, oh. God's country. So I went on online and went, I'll try and find a house in Burrowing. I came in the next day and I said, Kate, you're not going to believe it. Have a look, look at this. It's got chickens. It's got cows. It's got a hot tub. This place is awesome. Yeah, oh, it's exactly what you wanted. Yeah, it it's got to. adventure. And also in the Southern Highlands, it's mm. it's, it's autumnal. Yeah, autumnal. You know, the, Leaves the, are falling. The oh, that's another amazing word. Yeah, Autumnal's beautiful. The weather, what was the, weather the other big one that you've been using? Um, Himity Jigaby. No, Harumphing. 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 Anyway, so I'd gone. I've been harumphing around the house all week yeah. this week <laughs> after that. The kids <laughs> are just fizzing at the ding hole. They're so <laughs> pumped. About Easter. Who's, who's Dingo? Huh? Who's so fizzing? Ted's gone to camp at the moment, and I said, you know what, Ted? When you get back from camp on Thursday, we're getting straight in the car, and we're going to the Southern Highlands. Oh, and he'd he be is, stoked too, mate, camps. He's so pumped. Oh, it's got anyway, everything. It's got everything. And the on, Easter Bunny. It's got nine acres, this place that we've hired. Oh. It's awesome. So I've been going back and... Well, not back and forth, because there wasn't much... Forthcoming, but I'd I'd got oh, no. I'd gone to the website and I'd typed in, "Hey guys, just me," because I've got my booking confirmation. So excited uh, for Easter! Just want to know if you've got any arrival details that you could share. A few days out. Nothing. This was sort of two weeks ago, Kate. Oh, God, it's a little bit quiet there. Oh, I'll okay. check in again with the team. They're obviously excited well, about our arrival. When did you <laughs> check in? Make the beds. This, this week. This was now two days ago. I wrote again, <sighs> hey, guys, as seen above, <laughs> just checking in. Got any arrival details you could share? Where did we get the key from? Less, less fizz coming from the ding hole. Oh, the ding hole is it. now numb. Fizzled. It's, fizzled. it's fizzled right out at this stage. The ding hole has a uh, fizzled. fizzled. Uh, we got a numb bum, guys. <laughs> and then I, I thought, oh, hang on a minute. There's a contact number. There's the owner's contact number. Oh, so you're a real Sherlock Holmes, aren't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, put my little cap on and my long coat. The, where in the world is Carmen <laughs> San Diego? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm going to track you down, you non-responding beast. Uh, so then I sent them a, mex- a text message because it was a, um, a mobile number. Hi there, booked, booked for this weekend, can't wait. Have I, you paid? I got a reply, yeah. Money's gone. Hi there, what property? Fill me in. I have no idea what you're talking about. Fill me in. I write back, I'm not uh, sure where the confusion is. Is this your property in Barrow Lane? They write back, I'm sorry, I need to block you as this seems like a security issue. No clue what you're talking about. Oh, have you been stitched? I then get on to another number who replies, um, she has said, please send a screenshot. I've just added my lawyer husband to this chain. Apologies if this is not a scam. So I finally get on to the husband who said, we're not even on that website. And it's been booked by another family. (gasps) <gasps> and I went, okay, well, why don't we confirm when the bookings were made? Because I think you kind of need to honour the booking if I was in first. And so he said, you, well, I'd love to, but we're not even on that website. So, so the, you, has the money been transferred? Money has gone to <gasps> the booking. That'd be a cheap one too on Easter. Little one. Nine, nine, nine acres <laughs> in Barrow Way. Oh, You're, how lovely. <laughs> Um, so, so chickens and cows though. So what happens? Um, so I wake up this morning... With one task, and that's to find where we can go for Easter, because I know Ted's going to get off the bus on Thursday, and he's ready to head down to the Southern Highlands, and the whole family's pumped. So are you going to get your money back? Dad. Do you, don't, you don't know where it's gone into? Was no, I'll have to follow that you up. D- you do it, understand you can't be upset with the people who have the house, who have booked it, who have booked it with uh, someone, someone else. else has booked it, because... Uh, there's somebody that's kind of come in and cut you know. off at the what? path. Someone's cut me off at the path. What was, what was the website that you used to oh. book it through? I'm not sure what it was called. So I'm just trying to sort this out. 
because one, wouldn't mind the cash back. Of course. And secondly, we got nowhere to go. And Ted was <gasps> fizzing at the ding. And Ted, Ted. <laughs> oh my God, oh, he's sitting there and he can't sit still because yeah. he's fizzing. It's worms. It's not fizzing. Oh, is that what it is? So when Lisa, uh, when I said to her Was last this your night, job? You've been hmm? in charge of all of this? Was Lisa like, have you got the details? I'm the holiday guy. So now we're just going back and forth. What about this one? What about this one? Um, if anybody um, by chance is listening and they have a house in Norway, <laughs> oh, no. have you got a caravan? Have you got a tent? I need something because the Easter plan has fallen over very fast. Well, give us a call, Walgan. Um, no, mate. You've no. You've been done. I've been done. Oh, and that's dusted. really sad. I know. I was going to buy you a tea towel at the Barrowang Market. Got one. Okay. Um, I got to work something out, guys. Easter's ruined. This is a disaster. Christian and Camden might have a solution. What are you thinking, buddy? Mate, win Wednesday, win the week. Trying to. You're about to win Wednesday, mate. What do you got? I've got acres out the back of Camden for you, mate. I've got some chickens. I can get some horses in. We've got motorbikes. Oh. We've got a, I've got a caravan you can borrow. Set it oh. up down the back of the Cam- Camden oh. is loved. Oh. I'd, I'd love to see the whip fleas in Camden. They would love that, no, Christian. If you got, <laughs> how big's the caravan, Christian? Well, I've got a family of five very similar to yours, mate. I've got a 10-year-old, an 8-year-old and a 4-year-old. So. There you go. And it'll be nice at this time of year. The weather's changing. You'll have a bit of frost in the morning. We just bought new sleeping bags as well. Lock is and there, load, Christian. Is there a Michelin star um, okay, chef mate. there mm-hmm. and also some whiskey that is 150 years old, Christian? Don't listen to him, Christian. No, I figured Whipper was going to bring his own because he's... Um, he, he's got to accommodate us somehow as well. Exactly. So you got to pay course. him in kind. That is so generous, mate. Oh, I'll see you it. this weekend, buddy. They'd love it. Sounds like a plan, mate. Thanks, brother. Bye Actually, bye. you got no. some more advice here from okay. Caroline. Caroline in Cronulla, what do you got for us, Caroline? Hello. Oh, hey there. What are you thinking? Um, I actually know your beautiful wife, uh, we bought through Ronald McDonald House, and Lisa is such a gorgeous gorgeous person um, that I have a holiday house down in beautiful Berry Beach. Not quite the Southern Highlands, oh, okay. but um, I, I think you guys should go down there for Easter. Oh, that's oh, that is. Oh. So what are you oh. getting no, Hang on office. a second. Carolyn, oh. I had a booking that fell through to oh. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn, you are warming my heart. Oh. You know, just to see. You can go the week after, Kate. Okay. Berry, oh, you'd, lo- you'd love Bet Berry's magnificent. Oh, that's where the donuts are. Yeah, yeah spectacular. Carolyn, that is very kind of you to call. I mean, I didn't want this to turn into a whipper we've got your back segment. Yes, wow. you did. You, I mean, you made a call out. So when, there's anyone's... <laughs> when there's a family that you, when you see a family broken on the side of the road, you want to lend a hand, and that's good to know that Sydney's listening and he's so, there to hear Camden the sad or story. Barry, what are you thinking? Oh, God, well, I feel like I almost committed to Christian, but maybe that could be more of a, a summer vacay. Yeah. No, not, and I would, I no. would go Caravan. there in this well, the time of year beautiful. into Camden. Mm, I don't, okay, it's good it to see Barry. Well, is Christian doing donuts like they are in Barry? Do you know what I yes, mean? Yes, uh, the, on the motorbike. Yeah, well, that's true. Out in the paddock. Different kind of donuts. Ah, flicking up a bit of dirt. Who ain't doing donuts? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's extremely kind, Carolyn. Maybe I can't fit. wait to see all the videos yeah, on the yeah, Fitzy oh, Whipper oh, Kate beautiful. Ritchie uh, well, Instagram hey, page all weekend. We'll, we'll check in with you next Tuesday. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, <laughs> if I take um, the berry spot, Kate, you could take Christian's no, caravan. No, I'm fine. I have a house. I'm not going away. But you oh, could, but you maybe I'm now. not staying there either. I don't know where I'll be. Are <laughs> <laughs> you going to turn this into a musical? No, I don't know. I just started saying things I don't really want to say. But you know what? Whatever you do yep. for Easter, it'll be great, and we will see you next so Tuesday. Oh. Fits in Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.